So here we are again, Andy. Clients come back to us. Um, the work you did before was effective. Um, but it would appear that the entities that were cleared um, have decided to bring in reinforcements and they've attacked this client again. So in your own words, can you explain to us for your for our benefit, uh, for our learning, what's going on here? Yeah, sure. Hi, parents. Good to see you again. So yeah, it's disappointing in a way that sometimes these things do take sort of some multiple times to actually resolve. So depending on the level of negative influence depends upon the level of, if you like, positive influence that we need to conduct as well. So for most of my clients, or most people that tend to see, normally one or two sessions resolves the problem. And obviously, as you've just uh, sort of explained in this case, for two or three days, the client obviously had no problems, no voices, no negative influence, which was good. So it kind of confirms that we did clear what was with her initially. But what tends to happen, and I think is what's happening in this particular case, is that sometimes the lower level of negativity is removed, but there's a higher level of negativity that then obviously reconnects and basically tries to tries to control. And I think this is obviously what ha happened in this particular case is that the if you like the the lowest level of negative energies or entities that have been connected to the client have been removed and cleared and the higher level were also cleared for a short time. And I think the client's probably opened themselves up spiritually and that's allowed a reconnection of these stronger and more powerful negative entities in my opinion when you talk about more powerful negative energies and entities are we talking about something with a higher level of intelligence yeah my, so my understanding is it, it's rather like you know the or my experience if you like the spiritual world is a is a mirror really of the physical world so you know you have more intellectual people when you have less intellectual people and the spiritual world is the same you have lower levels of negativity that their vibration is slower and they're not particularly intelligent or clever i sort of term them almost like fleas really that we can just sort of easily pick off and then i've come into contact with a lot of very intelligent negative entities who are easily more intelligent than i am myself and i'm very wary and, and i'm always on my guard when i'm dealing with if you like those types of entities so so could we use the analogy here of um of going into battle, so to speak, where the first foray is to um, weed out the um, the first line of defence, and then they bring up reinforces, and then we have to bring up our reinforces and, until the battle is won. Yeah, I see. That's an excellent representation of, and that's how I see things as well, really. But the but the problem is, you see, in the middle of this battle, we've got a single person who is suffering very very badly, so her health and her well being is is the goal isn't it yeah and that's what i do what i do really because i've been in these positions myself and i know what it's like to be attacked you know psychically or spiritually and it's a, a physical problem or physical pain in my own experience is much easier to deal with than when you have an onslaught of, of psychic and spiritual attack it, you know you get pains of your body that you you have no sort of reason to have but obviously the mind and the, the mental side of it is much worse so those people that are suffering with voices and you know negative thoughts and intrusive thoughts end up into the sort of self-harm suicidal arenas and some of these people you know suffer in my opinion much worse than people that have broken their legs or have you know physical problems okay so let's let's finish the preamble there and i'm going to cut this tape short there just so we've got a short preamble as an introduction to this particular session and when we begin again then you'll be going into your protection okay okay that's good